Cut a six centimetre length of 20 pound rigidity. And double this over, keeping both ends even, so you end up with three centimetre boom. Pass both tag ends down through the hook eye, and then place the looped section over the bend of the hook. In this case, we've used an SSSP. Pull down on the tag ends before trimming to create a mini hook about 20 millimetres in length. Over the end, place a size 11 flexi ring swivel, followed by a small tungsten bead. Then, using a lighter, heat the tag ends before blobbing and flattening to secure everything in place. Care needs to be taken when using the lighter. Next, place a rig ring over the hook point and follow this with a rig and ring stop. The pointed part of the stop should face towards the hook point. The boom section of the hook link which in this case is 18 pounds illusion, should be about 20 centimetres long. Attach it to the rig ring using either a five turn grin or knot or a blood knot as shown. The trib tag end can be blobbed using a lighter for extra security. Care should always be taken doing this. I like to encase the knot and the hook link in my fingers to protect it, making sure the flame cannot damage anything. At the opposite end, tie the illusion to the ring in the flexi ring swivel. Ease it down, I like to moisten with saliva, trim with braid blades and then again carefully blob with a lighter for total security. This is how the finished rig should look. The bait is tied onto the rig ring and needs to be a pop-up. The rig has a lot of movement thanks to the swivel eye which runs on the extended hook section and gives you 360 degrees together with up and down movement. It's a very, very effective and catchy rig that has similar properties to the 360.